In today's video, I'm going to give you five tricks that help me lose 80 pounds. A really important thing I learned on the weight loss journey was that you kind of have to learn how to go against what your body is trying to do in order to lose weight. And what I mean by that is your body kind of wants to hang on to excess weight because it's a lot easier for a body to remain alive longer when it's overweight versus if it gets too underweight because you can starve to death. So your, your body, it kind of fights against itself. Your body is wanting to always conserve energy. And so it's kind of like you have to, to trick it in order to lose weight. And so along the way, there were some little things that helped me that I hope will help you. Now, the first thing that helped me was to move to a smaller plate. So I used to use a plate that was about this size, which is about 10 and a half inches. And some plates are even bigger than this. Some dinner plates now are like 12 inches. And uh, I moved to a smaller plate. This is about nine inches. And these are Fiesta Ware, which is my favorite kind of plate. Um, but a bigger plate holds more calories. It just does. And so if you fill a plate uh, that, you know, can hold a lot more calories, you're going to end up eating more. And if you have a smaller plate, the idea is you're going to end up eating less. Now, is this foolproof? No, you can certainly, you know, just get a bunch of helpings uh, and keep piling on multiple times on a nine inch plate. But just in general, I've noticed that it really does help me to eat less. Uh, I found that when I moved to a smaller plate, I found myself just feeling uh, like I had eaten the right amount by the end of the meal versus when I would use a bigger plate, I usually felt uncomfortably full uh, or over full. The next trick is just to accept the fact that we tend to be lazy and then use that to your advantage on the weight loss journey. So this is just a general technique. So what you do is you try to make things that would put on weight a little bit harder to do and you try to make things that will help you lose weight a little bit easier to do. So for example, you know, if you are in the habit of eating a lot of convenience foods you know, and you tend to overdo it on those things, uh, you could try making them from scratch. That's one thing I do. I, I generally don't buy convenience foods, but I will make them from scratch. And so what that does is, is kind of twofold. One is because I'm kind of lazy, <laughs> I tend to not make those things as often. So they're just not in the house as often. Uh, or, you know, the other thing that can happen too that I've noticed is that because I started to really always have like a really good tasting, you know, chocolate chip cookie, for example, I got to the point where I was like, I don't really want to buy the convenience foods, the things that are just really easy to pick up because uh, I would prefer to have the really good stuff. And so it, it kind of worked both ways. On the other hand, it's important to make things a lot easier that you do want to do. For example, for me, that means making my plan as easy as possible. So for me, that meant I'm not going to count calories. Uh, I'm not going to try to, you know, limit uh, my intake of certain types of foods, you know, like try to be low carb or try to be really high protein, nothing like that. Just, I keep it really, really simple. I just eat whatever I want. I do intermittent fasting, uh, but I also try to keep that as easy as possible. Again, because I know that I can be pretty lazy as a human being and I don't want to have to have my success depend on a lot of effort day in, day out for the rest of my life. Trick number three is to use the power of procrastination. So it's a human tendency to procrastinate about things. And you can use this to your advantage by just procrastinating about when you're going to eat. So this is, you know, basically what intermittent fasting is, is just procrastinating about, you know, when you're going to eat your first meal. And the later you push it, the better your results are probably going to be. So you can procrastinate about when you eat your first meal, which is good. And then also uh, I found it helpful to procrastinate about getting seconds. So, you know, one thing that does happen when you procrastinate is a lot of times you'll just forget or, you know, you'll change your mind. Uh, and that can be really helpful, especially when it comes to getting seconds, because many times if you're just sitting there, if you grab, you know, a second helping too quickly, uh, you end up kind of miserable after the meal. It's like, oh, why did I have that second plateful? Uh, uh, but if you can just procrastinate for a little bit, uh, a lot of times you'll realize like, oh yeah, I'm full. It can still be difficult to procrastinate on having seconds because for me, that was a really well ingrained habit was just to kind of automatically uh, put the second helping on my plate. But just encouraging myself to procrastinate a little bit really has helped. The fourth trick is to reward yourself generously for following your plan, but not with food. So food is a very, powerful reward. And it's so powerful and so good at its job that I think is a really terrible idea to use food to reward yourself on the weight loss journey. So that's why I just let myself have whatever foods I want. I don't play that game with myself. Uh, but 
it is helpful to reward yourself in other ways. And you might, you might even think of this as kind of like trying to bribe yourself to do the things that you know will help you lose weight. For example, uh, when I wanted to get into the habit of walking, I knew that I needed to, you know, get myself out there somehow. And so what I told myself was I could just watch all the movies I wanted to watch, all the TV shows, shows I wanted to watch, um, and, and do that while I was walking. Uh, otherwise, I really limited my screen time, but I used that as a bribe to just get myself out there and being more active. And you can also reward yourself for following your fasting rules too. You know, doing things like, uh, you know, saying, okay, uh, you can sit down and just read. And if, if you just don't eat, you know, just sit down here and, and read or, or do this uh, fun activity, whatever it is. Uh, whatever helps you to get motivated to either do the thing or not do the thing. And here's the thing, I still find that it's helpful to bribe myself. And I've been at this for years now. And at, at this point, I know, you know, you might think, why should you still need to bribe yourself to do the things? But I've just found that's like the key to getting things done, to making yourself do the things you, you know, want to get done. It's just, you have to bribe yourself. You have to reward yourself generously uh, and, and you'll find the energy to do it. The fifth trick is to always choose the more physically challenging option. So what I mean by that is if you can choose between walking to a place and driving to a place, then walk. Uh, but if you need to drive to the place, then uh, park as far away as possible uh, so that you get a bit more movement in. Or use the stairs instead of the elevator or, you know, go walk to your mailbox instead of driving to it. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, will that even make a difference? And in my experience, it does because it gets you in the habit of just moving more. And that translates into a lot of things during the day where you just you will get up and do the thing uh, instead of procrastinating on it and, um, and being less active. And what I found was the less active I tend to be, the worse mood I'm in and uh, the, the worse I feel. On the other hand, the more active I am, the better I feel. And it's a lot easier to stick to your plan and, and keep at it with the whole weight loss journey when you're feeling good. I hope you found this video helpful. The weight loss journey is long and it takes a lot of time and effort, but I hope these tricks help you along the way. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.